Alright, hello everyone. What I have for you today is a quick and easy way to get the backyard to do quickly list completed. The first step is to move this cricket bat over to the far back right, and then move this cricket ball behind the hedge. Drop it and honk only once the man has picked up his newspaper. The reason for this is because he will go and investigate, pick up the cricket ball and drop his paper, then go and pick up his paper and put the cricket bat back, giving us plenty of time to pick up his pipe, pick up his cricket hat, and pick up his reading glasses. Simply move these three items into the lower part of his backyard where he won't be able to see them. Move the rows down behind the hedge and wait for the lady to move up into the upper area of her backyard. Even if she's painting the painting, don't worry. We have plenty of time to work with. Pluck her hedge, steal the vase, and move the remaining two items into her yard whilst also stealing the clothes off the line. It's usually around now that the lady comes back into the lower section and notices you stealing her clothes. This is fine, she has very easy to deal with AI. Simply attract her attention to the line, to get the final sock. If she does close you in the man's yard and you don't want to wait to untie again, it's just quack. Now steal the ribbon and attract her attention up to the upper section of the backyard so you can steal the soap. The two reasons for that are so that she doesn't close the gate and also so that the ribbon is now in the upper section of the backyard where we will need it later. While she repairs the fence, we can move the three items to the bust area. Now she'll travel up to the bust to begin dressing it. We'll move this ribbon down to a slightly more convenient area, and while she's travelling up here, we may as well open this drawer too. Now while she's distracted with the bust, we can move the goose down below the washing line. It doesn't have to be too far, just out of sight. And since the man happens to be in his tea drinking cycle, I'll hit the bell. If he was not in his tea drinking cycle, just let yourself get dressed up in the ribbon first, and then wait for him to be in that cycle before hitting the bell. I'm not sure why she's angry at that point. She doesn't actually know that I'm a real goose, so that's confusing. But now we're completely finished with the lady's backyard. So we'll hop this fence one final time. Now some things can go wrong here concerning this ribbon, so I like to allow the man to pull it off my neck immediately, just to get it out of the way. Now we must steal one of his slippers to bring down to the lower part of the backyard to do the washing clothes section. If you face away from the man, he loses interest for some reason. Because he's in his tea drinking stage, I have to run around his hedge to lose his attention. If he was reading his newspaper, I could simply steal the slipper and he wouldn't notice. Whilst he finishes his tea drinking cycle, we can wash these clothes and return to him in perfect time for him to lift his other slipper while he's reading the paper, giving us the to-do list checked off for having him be barefooted. There we are. This leaves us with one final task to complete, which is for him to break the vase. And there you have it, around 4 minutes 46. You can complete this quicker or slower, but the important thing to note is this is very reliable. I've never had this go wrong, 
and also if things do go wrong, slight small things such as the lady knocking you around in the backyard or playing with the fence or maybe the man's reading cycles and drinking cycles are wrong, you can uh, simply wait because you have two minutes up your sleeve before the timer runs out. So I hope that was helpful and good luck in finishing the game.